it's true. This should be helpful.
you gonna do? All right then. I get for you. See you again. How'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but... This seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the Metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help! It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Mm, boss, this curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. So, this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. 
A pet? Aww. Well, I guess if I can't be seen... You two do your best to blend in, too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Ooh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, she really is adorable! Cutting back from commercial! Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much. The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Uh... uh... uh what? Uh... <laughs> uh... Oh. What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice... I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey, w what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. All right, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it. I can't live without you. What? What, what in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I'm begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. 
Like he wasn't even there and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. But that would mean... Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady on. <laughs> Man, that was great. That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but... After seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah! Uh, please! I'm sorry! Oh, oops! What a terrible accident! Just like what happened on set, a terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Uh, and who is this? too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on. Are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Bummer, but 
I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Ain't it the same as with Kamoshira? That's a good point. Ugh, she seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No. Beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so? I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kinda of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. It's basically her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, 
so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. You may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey! been thinking. Oh. 
Welcome to the Velvet Room. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead, and watch over you through your journey. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you, and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that addressed, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Fuse two Personas to gain a new one. the persona to acquire. It seems that it can gain new power. Are you unable to decide? It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. into a new power. You wish 
wish to strengthen it. How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. Okay. to browse the entries. Please take a look. What will you be, would you like to? This persona has been registered. Please take a look. Is this okay? You may take it with you. Please take a look. Is this okay? You may take it with you. to strengthen it how much power will you add this is what okay how much power will you add this is what you okay Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I will always be by your side. Until next time, farewell. Really? Let's head back. Soft shops closed. Takemi clinics shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah! Check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No problem. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. Ugh, really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Hmm? Got what? 
expedited delivery. Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh. Whoa. <laughs> well, someone should open it. Gee, this is your doing. Open it. What? Me? Well, of course. <laughs> Wait, it is, right? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. My eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way. No way is that real. Hello. Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> Th that needs to go to the police. Right away. Oh, wait. They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody. All right. Did that solve your problem? Don't praise her! I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back? Sorry, I didn't get that. Send the effing thing back! Hello, expedited pickup! Thank you for choosing our services! <sighs> I'm relieved they took it back, but... <sighs> that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez. Uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Okay, I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us. Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. Are you 
sure? Come in, are you sure? Come in, are you sure? You want this we want to equip that? Put it to good use, okay? Who is it for? Who is it for? Which one? Things are discounted right now. You should buy something. You want this thanks for your patronage. You, love? you want to put it to good use, okay? Mm -hmm. Just add this. <laughs> 